Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and this is just a quick little guide on how to hook up a mouse to your Nexus player. This would definitely come in handy if you're sideloading apps that aren't necessarily optimized for non-touchscreen devices like this one. Now there are two different ways you can go about this. One is with Bluetooth, by simply pairing your mouse in the Nexus player. The second requires a USB OTG cable, or USB on the go, which is really just an adapter that allows a regular sized USB cable to plug into a micro USB port. You can get one of these from pretty much any electronics retailer. I got mine from Amazon for less than 5 bucks. So of course plug it into the micro USB port on the back of your Nexus player to begin. From here you can plug any old USB mouse right into the female end of the adapter. Or if you've got a wireless mouse like I have here, you can just plug the receiver in. In terms of software setup, there isn't any if you go the USB OTG route. Your mouse will just work, and that's all there is to it. Now for Bluetooth pairing, I don't actually have a Bluetooth mouse to demonstrate with, but I do have a Bluetooth keyboard, and the process is virtually identical. First up, you should look at the bottom of the Bluetooth device. There's almost always a button to put it in pairing mode on the bottom somewhere. So just press that one, and that gives you a good 2 minute window to complete the rest of the process on your Nexus player. While the Bluetooth device is still in pairing mode, head to the settings menu on your Nexus player. From here, scroll down to the remote and accessories section, then arrow over to the right and click Add Accessory. At this point, your Nexus player will search for any Bluetooth device that is currently in pairing mode. You should see your mouse pop up as a pairing option within the next few seconds, and when it does, go ahead and click the entry with your existing remote or gamepad. At this point, the pairing should take place automatically, and you'll be ready to use your Bluetooth mouse on your Nexus player. But if you'd rather do this all with a step-by-step -step guide to follow along with, you should check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below. And it would also be cool if you could like, comment, and subscribe right here. But we'll see you again next time, folks. And until then, happy gadget hacking.